Hi, and welcome to episode two of Krondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hutchins. I'm a Ruby dev, and I'm the CTO of devcamp.com. On Tuesdays at Krondos, we discuss coding interview strategies. And today we're gonna to talk about the difference between class and instance methods. Now I'm a Ruby developer, so the perspective and the syntax that I'll talk about is coming from a Ruby perspective, but it can also be applied to other languages. For example, Java and Objective-C both have class and instance methods and the answer and how they're used is pretty similar. So what do you do when the interviewer asks you the difference between class and instance methods? What I would say is from a practical point of view, class methods can be called and are really focused around behavior. So a good example would be if I had a SMS class that sent text messages. I could have a class method in there that I could call from anywhere else in the application, pass in the values that I want to be sent via text, and I never really had to create a instance of that SMS class. I simply wanted to use a behavior inside of that send SMS message. Well, what I would say is from a practical point of view, class methods can be called by themselves and usually they encapsulate their own type of behavior. So a good example would be if I had an SMS class that had a method where I could send text messages inside of it, I would not really have the need to instantiate that SMS class in order to use that method. So that could be a good example of a class method that I could simply call it any time in the application and pass in the different attributes I want to send via text. This is compared with an instance method where you have to create an instance of the class in order to use that method. So a good example or a case study would be if I had a customer class and inside of that customer class, I had a full name method. It doesn't really make any sense to call that full name method just by itself because I want to be able to call it on a specific instance of the class. So usually I'll search through a database of customers, find a specific customer, and then I can call the full name method, and then it'll print out their full name. Do you see the difference where a class method only cared about the behavior, didn't really care about the SMS class as a whole, whereas with customers, it actually cared about that specific customer and that object, and you only want to pass that full name method when you've actually instantiated the customer itself. In summary, I usually use instance methods throughout the majority of my application. Class methods can be helpful from time to time, but usually it can be a sign of poor coding practices when you start using them all over the place. For the most part, a lot of those class methods usually could be abstracted out and refactored and placed inside of a module, and modules don't really deal with data as much as they deal with behavior. And a lot of class methods usually do that. Like for example, our SMS sending method probably should be in a module because we just care about its behavior. Whereas with instance methods, that's when we really want that method to be called on a specific object. And that's the way that I'd answer that question.